Good morning, folks. We're going to run down space weather, climate, earthquake science, some looks into deep space, and come back around for human stupidity. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and all relevant features today reside on the northern hemisphere. Dark coronal hole patch above the bright remnants of magnetic field loops, with a thin dark plasma filament embedded within it, appears to destabilize in the trailing portion of that former sunspot. In 304 angstroms, it does appear that the filament mostly broke out and slid back down through its genesis points, it appears to reform immediately afterwards. We confirm the lack of eruption and breakout with both the Earth Perspective SOHO satellite and from the side view with Stereo A, barely a nudge to the brightness profiles. Solar wind here, things could not be more quiet in geospace and one of the reasons is solar wind speed, purple panel, dropped below 300 kilometers per second. We're in very anemic territory there, slower than average, but we should see the telemetry begin to shift over the next 24 hours. Let's go next to Nepal, where the shifted monsoon continues to make news by either taking the water from India or dumping too much over other parts of the Asian continent. The wind was so bad here that some regions are basically wiped off the map. Climate.gov, pumping up their new top story on the website, Super heat wave strikes the U.S. during Memorial Day weekend. This was, of course, an attempt to draw attention away from the fact that in terms of high daily temperature, May was in fact the 10th coldest on record. That's top right there. With a real warmer map, bottom left, for 42 straight months, it's the nightly lows, not the highs. Bottom right, also of note because it was the second wettest May on record for the United States. Interesting that in the midst of record rain, tornado outbreaks in the 10th coldest month of May ever recorded, all they want you to know about is that the temps came back to normal, spring, summer territory at Memorial Day weekend. Got it? By the way, parts of western Canada would love to take some of that rain off our hands, but alas, they can't have it. It's not really up to us anyway. It is up to the sun and whether those upper jet patterns continue to weaken or not. And speaking of the sun, this is the Swedish solar scope. Sunspot visible, obviously, but the granule watching is great as well. Those are the cells that merge and morph to create the visible pseudo surface in 400 nanometers of light. Interesting story describing how tides affect earthquakes. The short version is that low tide allows pressure to be lightened through the crust down onto the magma upwellings and chambers, allowing them to expand and push the plates. This has implications for lunar and solar seismic forecasting and might even relate to the recent story about Venus, Earth, and Jupiter controlling the 11-year solar cycle. Up next, we're going way out and checking out a solar system where the exomoons are allegedly so prominent they are carving the dusty disk around the system. While a keen observer must remember that a dwarf planet might act like a large exomoon in such a system, Alas, exomoons have long been one of the places we think might be best suited for life. In many cases, better than the larger planets. That's the story here as well. Let's take a peek at a barred spiral galaxy. The central bar of light is teeming with new stars, and a plasma universe cosmologist notices immediately that the spirals do not begin until outside of the bar. That is usually the case with the barred spiral galaxies, but most of astronomy seems to forget that that violates purely gravitational models in favor of some energetic play at that interior level. Last but not least, our rare topic coverage needs to come back a moment as the widely known refusal of the United States to ban deadly chemicals which have been banned by other developed nations has been laid out in a paper comparing the US to the EU, China, and Brazil. Basically a nation of poison here in the USA, and this is just the pesticides. We greatly appreciate your support. Yesterday we posted a short clip about ultraviolet in a magnetic event on Earth. Even the smaller excursion events lead to extinctions, like reading a crystal ball of the coming century. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.